Hey everyone, Joey with Joey's Balloon Company here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a large balloon arch. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for some more balloon tutorials. First you're going to need four things that I take with me to every balloon decor event. Duct tape, fishing line, scissors, and an electric balloon inflator. Items that you're going to be needing specifically for this large arch, you're going to need 50 balloons in four different colors, so 200 balloons total. I usually like to pre-count my balloons out just so I don't have to count them while I'm inflating each one. Three PVC pipes that are half inch by 10 feet long, two half inch PVC couplings, two tampers, two pillowcases to cover the bottoms of the tampers. This is to help prevent scratching the floors on any indoor event. And two pieces of cardboard to put under the bases of your arch so that your balloons don't pop on the ground below. Once you've got all your supplies, let's get started. We're gonna start by building the bases of our arch. Lay your tamper down and set a PVC rod in the V on the base of your tamper. Holding your PVC secure to the tamper, you're going to tape the PVC to the bottom of the tamper and also the top of the tamper. If you're doing an indoor event, add the pillowcases to the bottom of your tampers and duct tape them around the base of your tamper. You're going to do this to both sides, then you're going to secure all three PVC pipes together using the PVC couplings. Make sure you push the PVC into the couplings as hard as you can because we do not want these coming undone. As an added measure, we're going to duct tape around the couplings to make sure our PVC pipes do not come detached. Indoor events are a little bit easier because you don't have the wind that's going to blow this big arch back and forth. If you're doing an outdoor event, go ahead and put the 2 foot by 2 foot cardboard under each base. Regardless of if you're building this for indoors or outdoors, you want the frame of your arch to be fully set up before you add the tie lines. Secure the top of your balloon arch to four separate points, two in the front of the arch and two in the back of the arch, to prevent your arch from falling over in the middle of your event. The hardest part about this job is tying the initial knot in the balloon. If you get good enough at using your electric inflator to blow up two balloons at one time, you won't have to make this knot and you can just double knot these two balloons together. This is called the double. We're eventually going to be putting these two doubles together to make what we call a quad. This quad should consist of all four colors that you plan on using for your balloon arch. I usually try to make my doubles out of the same two colors because that helps me make sure that I include all of the colors necessary. Now it's time to inflate some balloons. Before you blow up all your balloons, make sure that you sweep and vacuum because the static electricity that you create when you're inflating these balloons will collect all of the dust, all of the pet hair, all of the human hair, and anything else that's just lying around. So I highly recommend just starting with a clean space. It'll help your arch look better and you'll feel better about it. Once you've got all your balloons inflated and turned into quads, here's how you're gonna add them to your arch frame. I'm gonna put my greens opposite each other and lay my first quad down. You can probably tell why we use cardboard because if I were to put that first quad on the bottom of our arch frame, it would have popped on all of the rocks underneath it. When you're adding your second quad, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you orient your quad exactly how your first one is. In my case, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure my greens are opposite each other and also make sure that the color adjacent to my greens are correct. You can notice here as I'm trying to put my second quad onto the arch frame, my greens are lined up directly above the first quad, but my pink is lined up over my first quad's purple. So I'm gonna flip my quad upside down and orient it so that all of my colors on my second quad are lined up above the same colors on my first quad. Now you're going to twist your second quad slightly to the left or slightly to the right. You can probably see if you continue in the same direction it will create a spiral out of the colors with your balloons. The arch frame will stay in the middle of your quads as long as you continue to compress them as you add them to your arch frame. If you don't have a step ladder, you can lay one base of your balloon arch down so that you can reach the highest point on your arch. Now it's time to start adding more quads. For every quad, remember to line up the opposite colors first and then check the adjacent colors to see if you're going to have to turn that quad upside down. Once your 
quads reach the second coupling, go ahead and stand up the base that you laid down. This is still too high for most people to reach, myself included. So an easy way to continue adding to your quads is to build a set of quads on the arch frame right in front of you so you can just slide them up to meet the others. Again, you have to remember to make sure that the quads that you're building right in front of you are going to line up and match up with the spiral that you've already created with the other quads. After you've finished adding quads, take a step back and look at your spiral and make sure that it has no breaks and it's not changing direction at any point. If you're happy with your work, ask your event contact if there's anything you can adjust or fix in any way. Once you get the two thumbs up from your event, contact you're good to go all you'll need to do is schedule the time with them so that you can come pick up your pvc and tampers so that's it that's a large balloon arch it's easier to construct with two people but it's also able to be done by one person don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for some more balloon tutorials you can also check out my other channel joey webster for brain teasers personal finance tips and adventures around my home in hawaii if you're interested in making money with us by making balloon animals or balloon decorations shoot us an email at joey's balloon code dot mm. shoot us an email at joey's balloon code dot Ah, shoot us an email at Joey's Balloon Code, Joey's Balloon Co at gmail.com. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Thanks for watching.